Tuesday is. It's Sunday, but it's also Mother's Day. So here's a little tribute to mothers. How many mothers we got in here tonight? Whoa, yeah, okay. I guess we all have a mother someplace because we wouldn't be here. Okay. I was born in Oklahoma in a little place called El Reno. Our address was uh, 12 and Plum. That's 12 miles out in the country, plumb off in the woods. Mom and Dad, we just had a little two-bedroom shack, and um, we didn't have no microwaves or no computers, nothing like that. No iPods to play with. So my dad was a carpenter. All I had was little blocks of two-by-fours, four-by-twos, stuff like that to play with. But one sunny April day, I was outside scooting my little blocks around. And old Blue was laying back over there underneath an old sycamore tree. And he was just uh, laying there like old dogs would do. And I believe at the time I was building, a, I was going to build a bridge across this little ditch that I dug. So I was walking around my bare feet and everything, looking. I found a piece of plywood board. It was about, about that long, about that wide. I walked past old Blue. He looked up at me, kind of stretched a little bit, jumped up, did another old dog stretch, and took off running. Next thing I hear, old Boo. He's bailing back out in the woods. So here, pretty soon he comes up and he's got a raccoon in his mouth. I look at that raccoon and I look at him, look over at the board, it's the same size. I said, oh, now wait a minute. Pretty good dog, but I didn't think he was that dog, that good. So I walked over and I picked up a little bit bigger board. Walked in front of the old blue, laid it. He looked at it, stretched a little bit, took off. Hear him baying back out there in the woods. Pretty soon he comes back, he's got another raccoon, and that thing is the same size as that boy that I showed him. I just couldn't believe it. So Daddy, he come home from work, and I just couldn't wait to tell him. And he says, oh, now, son, he says, wait a minute. He says, that dog don't know the size of the raccoon to get. I said, well, come here, Daddy. So I picked up a piece of wood and walked over, showed it to old Blue. He stretched and he took off, and we hear him baying back out in the woods. First soon he comes back, he's got another raccoon. Same size as that boy. Dad looks at me and he says, I knew that dog was smart, but I didn't think he was that smart. And I said, well, you know, I guess we're going to be some pretty good money with these raccoon skins here. I said, we can show him the boards that he needs to take. And he'll go get us a raccoon. We don't have to go out there. So moms, I'm going to tell you something. When dad and the boys start doing something, Mama, you've got an instinct that you have got to know what's going on. Well, lo and behold, here comes Mama. she got to see what her son and her husband are doing. But under her arm, she has got a wooden ironing board. Dad and I, we sat there and we looked at each other and we said, uh-oh. Old Blue, he got up and he stretched a little bit. He looked at that iron board and he looked back. He looked back. He looked back. Took off. Dad and I looked at each other. Oh, Lord. But you know, Mom, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't be around. But you just got that instinct. You got to know what your family's doing. But you know, that was back in... 1947? 
We ain't seen old blue since. <laughs> he is still out there in them backwoods, and he is looking for that perfect coon. So, moms, have a beautiful and a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you, Harold.